Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to share some game-changing tips from Dave Ramsey on how to save a whopping $12,000 fast in 2024. Stick around because I'm about to show you step-by-step -step how it's done. Saving money in 2024 is more crucial than ever, with expenses rising and financial worries looming. But fear not, I'm here to guide you through some powerful strategies to swiftly save up to $12,000. Let's dive in. Tip number one, adopt the zero-based budgeting method. The first thing you need to do to quickly save $12,000 in 2024 is to use Dave Ramsey's zero-based budgeting method. Ramsey, who knows a lot about money, says that a budget will help you keep track of your money. What is a budget that starts at zero? This plan only works when income minus prices is zero because it keeps all the money. Each dollar you earn is either spent, saved, or put into an investment. This will help you save as much money as possible and stop spending it. Make a list of your monthly pay first. Write down everything you spend money on, like food, bills, and small treats. Spend all of your money on these groups. Any extra cash you have should be put toward your plan to save $12,000. You have to be honest and follow through with this plan. Making smart buying choices is part of managing your money. List your income, list your expenses, and allocate every dollar. It's that simple. Remember that every dollar you save brings you closer to $12,000. Tip number two, the debt snowball method. When tackling your debts, it's crucial to approach them with determination, beginning with the smallest debts first. This method, known as the debt snowball, Ramsey says that getting angry about debt is the only way to get rid of it. This plan is about following through on your choice. The debt snowball method gets people to pay off their debts and builds energy for doing so. Make a list of all your debts, from smallest to biggest, with no regard to interest rates. Then, pay off the smallest debts first while making the minimum payments on the rest. Once the smallest is paid off, apply the money to the next smallest causing a snowball effect. Because of quick wins, this plan works. When you pay off small debts early, you feel good about yourself and are more motivated to keep going. On the road. It's cool that you can save more money after paying off your debts. When you pay off a loan, you have one less weekly payment to make. This means that you can save more of your income. Cutting down on debt and saving more you owe it. $2,000 on your credit cards, $5,000 on your car, and $10,000 on your school loans. Is that fair? You can get a quick win and more money to pay off the $5,000 car loan later, if you pay off the $2,000 first. By following this logical plan, you can get out of debt much faster and save more money. Tip number three, cut down unnecessary expenses. A 2024 survey found that Americans spend roughly 30% of their income on non-essentials. Dave Ramsey often says, first, figure out what you don't need, like going to the coffee shop every day, eating out a lot, expensive TV packages, or buying things on a whim. The little things add up to a lot, so let's get down to business by looking at your bank records and putting your spending into groups. You might be surprised at how much you spend on food delivery and shopping online. Once these areas were found, if coffee costs you $200 a month, try making it at home to cut that down to $50. Giving bigger items 30 days is another good idea. I think you should wait 30 days before getting something you don't need. You'll usually get over your urge to buy it and understand you don't need it. Also, look for things you can do instead of joining a gym. You can watch fitness videos online for free instead of paying for cable TV. In order to save more money, you should cook more and eat out less. If you can cut back on spending by $200 a month, that's $2,400 a year, which is a big chunk of your $12,000 goal. Look at how you spend your money and see what you can do without. Don't forget that every dollar you spend that you don't need gets you one step closer to your goal. Tip number four, boost your income. 
In today's ever-shifting economy, it's important to be flexible and take advantage of the chances that the gig economy offers. Dave Ramsey says that you have to tell your money what to do or it will leave you. One good way to do this is to give yourself more control over your money. This is where the extra job comes in handy. In today's gig economy, there are more ways than ever to make extra money. A recent survey found that nearly 40% of Americans now have a side job that brings in an average of $8,000 a year. That's a big boost to your income. A side job is great because it can be adjusted to fit your needs. Here's some useful advice. Start by working on your side job for just a few hours a week. Even if you only make an extra $200 a month, that's still $2,400 a year, which brings you closer to your goal of $12,000. But remember that it's not just about making more money, it's also about managing it wisely. Put a big chunk of your side job money straight into savings. This methodical approach guarantees that the extra work you put in will pay off with real financial growth. Tip number five, smart grocery shopping. You can make a lot of small changes that will save you a lot of money over time. For example, you can carefully plan your meals, take advantage of sales, and choose generic brands over more expensive ones. It is very important not to underestimate how these small changes will affect your general money situation. Doing some research before you go grocery shopping and using strategies to save money can help you avoid having to spend a lot of money on food. Instead, you can save a lot of money by shopping smart and getting the most out of every dollar you spend. You can then use those savings for more important financial goals or for any unexpected costs that may come up. Tip number six, build an emergency fund. This emergency fund protects people from unexpected costs like medical problems, car repairs, or losing their jobs all of a sudden. It gives them a sense of financial security and stability. Ramsey usually says to start with $1,000 in emergency funds and build them up until they can cover three to six months of living costs. A study by the Federal Reserve found that 40% of Americans would have a hard time paying a sudden $400 bill. This lack of planning can cause people to go into debt or spend cash meant for other things. Consistency means consistently putting some of your income into this fund, no matter how much, so it keeps growing over time. With this plan, you won't have to think about adding to your fund until you hit your $11,000 goal. Don't stop there. Keep adding to it until it's enough to cover your bills for a few months. This will give you even more peace of mind and financial security. So there you have it. With these six tips, you can realistically save $12,000 in 2024. It's all about making small, consistent changes that add up over time. Are you ready to take control of your finances and watch your savings grow? Let us know in the comments below and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Let's make 2024 your year of financial success. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, stay financially savvy.